In today's video, you wanna go from looking like this to looking like this, and I'm gonna explain how you can do that cycling. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com, and today I got a great question about how to use a bike, a stationary bike, a cycle, to lose body fat. Today's question comes from right here on my Instagram direct message. So go there, send me your direct messages, leave a comment below if you have a question, because I will answer all those comments, and I will also be your friend if you hit that subscribe button. Hello, Paul, I love your YouTube channel. Well, thank you for that. I have a question that you might want to address in a video. You often mention walking to lose weight. In fact, guys, I walked every day for 60 minutes. You can watch that video and I lost a lot of body fat and I'll show you the details of that video. I understand the benefits, but for me, it's much easier to catch up on the news, ride a stationary bike for 30 minutes. I do this while in zone two, the fat burning zone. Is this effective as walking for losing belly fat or should I commit to walking instead? Great question. And there's a reason why I talk about walking so frequently, but let's talk first about this idea of zone two. First and foremost, what determines fat loss? Nothing else but a caloric deficit. However, how we create that caloric deficit can go a long way in making it easy on ourselves. So should cardio be your primary focus? If you have no idea where your calories are, if you have no idea how many calories you're taking in a day, that's where we probably need to start. However, when I tell people that I believe that cardio can be the start of a good fat loss journey, they tend to get confused. Why would I say that? Because by being proactive and getting up and doing something every day, it makes you be proactive in the kitchen. It makes you avoid ordering crap food because you don't wanna waste that effort. So whatever it is, whatever came first, the chicken or the egg, right? Should cardio go first? Should your diet go first? For me, cardio comes first. Why? Because it forces me to clean my diet up. If I get up early and do some cardio, well, heck, I don't wanna waste the rest of the day by eating a bunch of junk food and undoing what I did earlier in the day. Now, the bike, the walking, the stairs, can they all be used? I think they're all very interchangeable. Why do I like walking? I like walking the same reason you do. I like the bike for you because you like to get caught up on the news. I have a treadmill right here in my office. I get up every morning and use the treadmill. Likewise, I could set up a bike, I could set up a staircase, whatever I wanna use basically for movement. And in fact, if you have a busy schedule, if you have a busy job, if you have a busy life, if you're on your feet all day, guys, when I was a waiter, when I was in college playing baseball, I bet your ass I didn't add cardio to my routine. I couldn't keep weight on. As we change, responsibilities in life, we tend to change our movement patterns. Have you ever noticed that when you go on vacation or do something out of the norm, you drop weight, even though you didn't track your calories? Why is that? Well, because when we go on vacation, we're in and out of the airport, we're in and out of traveling, we're maybe going down to the beach, we're walking, we're going to the zoo, we're doing things we don't normally do. Most of our lives are pretty sedentary. So let's talk about the specifics of how many calories you burn walking versus how many calories you burn riding a bike. I looked up the research on this and I found that it's pretty comparable. I don't really believe you need to be in zone two. Now, why do people talk about zone two? Because our bodies are going to use primarily fat stores as energy in zone two. Does that mean we're gonna lose more fat in a day because we were in zone two? No, what determines the success of fat loss is going to be our energy intake. Over here, we've got our calories that we take in, all of the food, all of the drinks, all the calories we consume. Over here, what we have is the energy we burn throughout the day. That's gonna come in the form of non-exercise activity. Heck, even we burn calories when we sleep, when we talk, when we move our hands. It's also gonna come in the form of exercise and cardiovascular. Now, while I think exercise is great for building muscle and longevity, I don't really think that exercising is gonna be great for weight loss. Now, over time, by adding more lean body mass, there may be a benefit to staying leaner easier. However, it's not gonna help us create much of a caloric deficit. If you look at the big pie charts of the calories burned throughout the day, oftentimes you'll find that the biggest thing in our BMR is gonna be our NEAT score, okay? So people that are busier, that fidget more, they're gonna have an easier time keeping weight off. And this is why I love walking. For me, for someone that's very sedentary and unintentionally so, listen, I just run a business, I've got kids, sometimes I just gotta get right up to work and I had to make, for me, it easy to move more. And that's what I want for you guys, okay? So is it easier for you to get up and ride your stationary bike or get on your stairs or do some jujitsu or play tennis or play basketball? Then do that. That is the thing that you should be doing. There's nothing magic about walking except for, in my opinion, the ability to recover really quickly. I love 
walking on an incline because I can change, okay? If I go for a walk outside, let's say I average on a flat surface 200 calories in an hour. I can crank that up to 500 calories an hour by walking faster and then on an incline. And I've even thought about this idea because I saw that you can burn 750 calories an hour by wearing a rock. If you're interested in me testing this theory out, comment below that I should try rock walking because I'm gonna purchase one uh, and do this because it's something that's been on my mind. But the idea is that if you can burn more calories on a bike than you can walking or you like it better, I would do that. The one thing we gotta be careful of with cardio because it is overused in some instances, cardio can actually make us hungrier, can increase our stress. And while stress in the short term can be good, we wanna make sure that we're taking care of ourselves and we're doing the things we enjoy. I don't want you to not enjoy your cardio. If cardio is a bad word for you, you probably need to start finding things that you enjoy that you can do more frequently because when we don't wanna do something, our willpower is gonna get in the way, okay? Willpower is fleeting. If you have high stress, low energy, Sometimes you're going to find that that willpower get convinces you not to do the cardio. This is why, and this in my mind is one of the keys to a successful fat loss plan. Do your cardio early in the day. Why? Twofold. One, you get it done before anybody can bother you. I promise you, if your goal is to lose some body fat and eat healthy and do your cardio in the evening, if something comes up with the kids, if something comes up with work, if something comes up that's stressful, you're going to skip that cardio session. However, if you get up every day and commit to doing it before you start your day and never miss it, it's going to do the second thing, which is it's gonna encourage you to go about your day in a manner that's even better. I'm telling you my energy, my focus is so much better getting up and doing cardio. Do I do it fasted? Yes, I do. Because at 5.30 in the morning, I honestly have no interest in food. However, there's not anything technically magical about doing cardio fasted. I simply don't wanna eat at that time. As long as you get it done, as long as your calories are equal, the benefit of fasted versus fed state cardio. It's been researched, it's fine to do it either way. I just prefer at that time of the day to do my cardio fasted because I don't really wanna eat anything. I'm actually not even hungry. I probably don't even eat for an hour, an hour and a half, even after that cardio session, just because walking, oddly enough, it kind of abates my hunger. I just don't have much hunger. That might be a personal thing, but I have found it to be really beneficial. In fact, when I'm dieting to get shredded, guys, I get shredded. I'll show you a little picture or video right here. The idea of getting shredded for me, if I find that I'm getting hungry during the day, two things that really help me, a little bit of caffeine, maybe a diet soda because of carbonation, but also I'll go do a cardio session when I'm hungry. That's right, I'll do an incline walking session for 30 minutes and it will kind of push that hunger down. So you can find lots of tactics, you can find lots of ways. I love the bike, I love the stationary bike. Honestly, when I do the bike, I like the recumbent bike better because I can sit down, I just don't have one but the stationary bike I find actually hurts my butt after a while. One thing about losing a lot of body fat, you lose that cushion, you lose that bike seat that you got built into your body. So it can become a little cumbersome. And, but again, even with the walking, sometimes I'll feel like a little ache in my feet. Maybe I'll take a day off. So you can change different cardio modalities. I think they're all interchangeable. What we need though is accountability. Accountability with the nutrition, with the calories coming in, accountability with the activity, your steps in the day, your non-exercise activity, your exercise activity, your cardio, whatever it is you're doing, if you really wanna make progress, be accountable, be present, understand that it's all a part of the big picture. It's not just what you do hour by hour, it's what happens over 24 hours, seven days, and honestly, even longer than that. And don't be in a rush because you didn't put the body fat on overnight. Don't try to get it off overnight. All right, guys, hopefully this helps you understand the relationship between the stationary bike, the incline treadmill, or any other form of cardio that you enjoy. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Huge. You look three pounds leaner, yeah.